square divided by x plus 3 is less than 9 over x plus 3. Now at times I have seen a mistake here with most students too. They will cancel out this common factor and they will try to solve the equation x square less than 9. That is not permitted in rational functions. Okay, Never cancel uh, any factors, common factors uh, like you do in equations right that is a major difference between equations and inequalities correct right? so first thing which i should note here is avoid or do not do not cancel do not cancel factors common factors i say right right avoid it totally okay now how to solve these things to solve these inequalities, what we do is we bring them to one side and try to form a rational function. So let's do that part. So we have here x square over x plus 3 minus 9 over x plus 3. This is a very simple example because the idea is to teach you the method of doing it rather than getting into complications, right? We have more questions which are more complicated. Now here x plus 3 is a common denominator, so very simple, we write x plus 3 in common denominator and we have in the numerator x square minus 9 less than 0. Now this is a rational function, it is a polynomial over another polynomial, it's a perfect rational function, right? In any rational function, once you write in factored form, it's always a good time to write down the restrictions. So we write down restriction here is that x is not equal to minus 3, right? since that will give denominator a negative zero value and that zero will make it undefined. Now we have two factors in the numerator. The factors before us are x plus 3 and x minus 3 and in the denominator we have a factor x plus 3, right? Which is less than zero, correct? So, so that is our, our equation, right? Now, in this case, what happens is, we have already written that x is not equal to minus 3, right? And therefore, we can cancel these two and we have the equation that x is minus 3 is less than 0. And for that, the solution is that x is less than 3, correct? So, we have here solution as x is less than 3. So, that is the solution which we get. Now, this kind of a situation you can draw here and you know try to show your answer also so it is basically x minus 3 is your function if you see as your function right so, so it's like it's a line like this x minus 3 right where the y intercept for you is minus 3 okay if I put x equals to 0 I get minus 3 and when is it 0 if I write x equals to 3, it is 0, right? So that is your line. You can see from this, and the restriction is at minus 3, we have a hole, right? So if this is minus 3 for us, then on this line, we have a hole here, right? Which could have been minus 6, which will be minus 6. So that is your hole here. So when you draw this function, at times there may be a situation or the question asks to even draw it, right? So if this is your sketch of your rational function. Correct? So that is the sketch of the rational function where the common factor which got cancelled at this stage, you have to write restriction before cancelling, right? Leads to this particular hole, right? So this function really does not have a vertical asymptote. It has a hole in it, right? And this can be solved as kind of a linear inequality correct so because it reduces to a linear function correct so that is why it is kind of a unique rational function solution where you could solve as a linear equation but be careful you have to always write that this is not equal to minus 3 as your restriction now you have to write your answer right so what is the solution here this is x equals to this but remember do write that x is not equal to x is not equal to minus 3, right? Now, it is a good time to write down your answer, right? So, I showed you this to be very careful that, yes, 
you are saying that your answer is, let me write down the answer on a number line also. At times, you may be required to write answer on a number line, right? So let me show this answer on number line. So this is your point, this is your hole at minus 3, correct? And let's say this is your 0, and let's say this is point 3, right? So your answer is you're not including 3 also because it is less than 0, right? So there is a hole here at 3, right? Everything on the left side like this, not including point minus 3, everything on this. Side. So that is your solution on a number line, right? And in, a, in interval form, how will you write? You will say, well, x is actually, because x is less than 3, right? But x is not equal to minus 3. So this is also a solution, right? In set form, what do we do? We write x belongs to real numbers so that this is the condition for x and we put these brackets around, right? And we say, well, that is my answer, right? That is my answer. So, so I want to conclude by saying that there are rational functions which could be solved like this and you get a linear function with the result but remember about the restrictions, right? There could be holes like this which should not be included in your solution set and that may cause error. If you include this, then your solution is wrong, correct? So take care. So with this, we move on to the other questions where traditional methods of solving rational functions will be discussed. Thank you.